I get a lot of questions about the 81 millimeter. But I thought I'd do a quick walk around. As you can see, this right here is a black powder version, which means that the barrel you see in the video is solid steel and does not have a base plate in it, no firing pin in it. It's just more or less a muzzle loading cannon, but high angle one. You see the three inch soup can there right next to the sight. We've got the tripod and the base plate. Let's put it together and see what it looks like. Now as you can see, here we have it assembled. Like I said, this right here is a 81 millimeter black powder, which means you cannot drop around in and have it go off like you see in the movies. Basically, you take one ounce of uh, black powder, drop it down the barrel, there's a fuse hole in the bottom, you stick a fuse in there, and then you see that soup can right there. Well, that's a three inch soup can. You drop that on top and that's your ammunition. I don't even tend to fill it up with concrete half the time. Uh, with concrete, it'll go about 900 yards, so it does have a little bit of a reach to it. And we'll give it a little bit closer look here. As you can see, it's got a piston on it. It helps absorb some of the recoil. Uh, you can see that slide right up on the barrel here. Most people don't realize that mortars tend to do that. And right here's the nameplate. 81 millimeter M23A1. And base plate, which is one heavy sucker. And the sight assembly, uh, this is only a portion of it. There's another piece that would stick right on top here. And I don't have that part. Otherwise, everything is fully functional with this sight. This right here is an M64A1. And as I, like I said, we take a soup can, and a soup can will fit right in that barrel, nice and snug. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's quite snug. And the fuse hole is right in the bottom. So it works basically like a regular cannon, except in this case, uh, it has a very high altitude. When I shoot this, uh, just with like soup cans here, um, or we're going up there, oh, probably a couple thousand feet. Um, it really will fly. L big, major hang time with it. So it's a lot of fun to shoot. It is fairly accurate, although it does not have any um, rifling inside the barrel, obviously, because it's a mortar, and because we're shooting soup cans with no fins. So they're not aerodynamic, as you would think. But the odd thing is, when these things do go off, um, all the contents gets packed into one end and because of that it stays fairly consistent right? it, it goes up one one direction and then turns around and comes back down and it doesn't uh, flop around doesn't do anything it just literally falls straight down so there you go that's the 81 millimeter mortar if you have any questions please post don't forget to rate the video and I'm gonna be a little bit slow with uh, some of the future videos because I'm actually going to a testing site pretty soon and um, it's going to take me a while to develop the videos from the test site. Uh, this is going to be a remote test site. Once I'm done with the videos on the remote test site, then I'll start uh, uploading them via satellite. So it's going to be quite interesting. Until then, thank you for watching.